Have you just been waiting for has been heaven? <laughs> okay, I actually thought this was like one of those satire things when I saw it the first time. I said, okay, this is not actually happening, right? Uh, but it is actually happening. It looks like former President Donald Trump and um, has been colleague Bill O'Reilly will engage in a three city history tour to discuss the presidency and views on political issues. The tour will feature stops in Florida, Texas, two stops in each state in December and will serve as a forum for Trump's for Trump to frame his political legacy while prepping for a potential comeback. Okay, so here's the thing. This is all in anticipation for Trump to run for president again. So understand exactly what it is. And they're gonna get paid a bunch of money because Trump supporters are the most gullible contributors on the planet, okay? They're going to get a lot of money and get paid doing this ridiculous tour. But damn, Bill, Bill O'Reilly is doing this tour with Donald Trump. Can I remind people of some things that Let's say Bill O'Reilly has said, do we got some video on Bill O'Reilly? The reason Trayvon Martin died was because he looked a certain way and it wasn't based on skin color. If Trayvon Martin had been wearing a jacket like you are and a tie like you are Mr. West this evening, I don't think George Zimmerman would have any problem with him, but he was wearing a hoodie and he looked a certain way. And that way is how gangsters look. And therefore, he got attention. And the reason that that culture has risen is because there are a lot of gangs and they're violent and they dress a certain way. And when people see that, they associate that kind of bad conduct. So Martin was innocent of anything. He didn't do anything wrong, Trayvon Martin. Mm -hmm. But because he looked a certain way, he lost his life. And it's all interconnected to this violent crime that, as you stated and I stated, is, is driven by the dissolution of the family and no supervision and nobody really caring about what happens in those precincts. <laughs> That was the day he actually should have been kicked off the air. That was the day that sponsors should have universally withdrawn support from Bill O'Reilly's show. What Bill O'Reilly just said was the equivalent of him blaming a rape victim for getting raped. Oh, you mm -hmm. should not have worn that outfit. No, you should not have been walking down the street by yourself. No, you should not have worn that wig or had that kind of purse. He's blaming the victim. And in his entire commentary, the one person he left out is the man who committed murder. He has absolutely no blame whatsoever for the man that committed murder. And in the same logic in his perverted ass mind, in that same commentary, he actually agrees that Trayvon Martin did nothing wrong. He agrees with that conclusion, but gives complete defense to the white man who did. They're going on a tour, him and Trump. Oh man, I, I, I immediately looked up Space Cowboys. You remember that movie with like uh, Clint Eastwood and like uh, Tommy Lee Jones? I don't know why, but I was like, this is like Space Cowboys. And I wish that Bill O'Reilly and Donald Trump were just going with Bezos into space. And like I've been saying, don't come back, just go, leave us. Um, but I love. Like, what do you think the mean age is going to be in the audience? Just like it's going, like, just like I'm saying, like 85, 87, maybe. This is like the last tour. This is like, oh my God, grandma's vaccinated. Let's get her out. You know, we, she can watch, you know, her boy Billy. Um, <laughs> speaking of Billy, I'm thinking about the tour bus too. I do not want to be on that tour bus when those two boomers swap <laughs> rope stories. Yeah, right? I, I could, I can imagine it smelling like, like old cabbage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, just he, old cabbage and 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 sexual assault. That's exactly what <laughs> right. it is mixed together. Unfortunately, our army manned the airports. It ran the ramparts. It took over the airports. It did everything it had to do. We've ended the war on beautiful, clean coal, and it's just been announced that a second, brand new coal mine where they're going to take out clean coal, meaning they're taking out coal, they're gonna clean it, is opening. This is an island 
surrounded by water, big water, ocean water. If you have a windmill anywhere near your house, congratulations. Your house just went down 75% in value. <laughs> and they say the noise causes cancer. You tell me that one, okay? <laughs> you know, the thing makes it so... Brand new F-35s, fighter jets. They're stealth. You can't see them. I said, how good are these? They say, well, sir, the problem is you can't see them when you fight them. I said, that sounds like it's a big advantage. And then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs. So it'd be interesting to check that so that you're going to have to use medical doctors with, but it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. That guy was our president. Now, now here's the thing. <laughs> um, I have already planned of what I'm going to tell my grandchildren. When they ask me after reviewing whatever they review on the internet about this man, when they ask me, how do you all elect him president of the United States? I am going to say, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I have no idea what you're, what you're referring to. I don't know this man. Uh, you're just gonna gaslight your grandkids? 100%, 100%. <laughs> um, here's, what, here's how Trump describes uh, the tour. Uh, these will be wonderful but hard hitting sessions where we'll talk about the real problems happening in the US. Those that the fake, do, hey, I ain't gonna read this bull. Okay, that's it, let's get rid of the graphic, okay. <laughs> Uh, yada, 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 right? It's the same talking points, but now he's actually, because Bill O'Reilly needs the money, right? And he has at least enough credibility left with some of those individuals that will actually come out, risk their lives and, you know, get fed bull. He's gonna do it. And it's going to be interesting. Um, I hope I get, uh, I'm gonna get popcorn and just watch the highlights from it. No, yeah, I mean, first of all, I'm glad that you played the entire highlight reel of Trump's dumbest moments because I think we should watch that every every month, just remind ourselves, you know, it's like smelling salts. And you're like, all oh, right, all right, right, things could be worse, but we still have to get keep fighting, keep fighting, stop the fascism. Um, it's hard to imagine a comeback tour with the most has been people who should have never left the 80s, like 89, like as soon as, you know, the 90s rolled around, both Bill O'Reilly and Donald Trump should have been catapulted into the memory hole. So I'm curious, you know, like, is this riling up the Republican base? I don't think so. Like, even on some like finding your new superstars thing, you don't go around with Bill O'Reilly. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. You know, like you gotta find like your your young new. I don't know who did you just have on the show? <laughs> <laughs> right. Sarah what was her name? Is uh, <laughs> yeah, she's not the one though. No, uh, but but this is interesting because you're right. Uh, Donald Trump has chosen Bill O'Reilly to be his wingman. Oh God, the groupies too. The groupies will all be in their 80s and they'll be like, no, we want the young hot ones. It's like, sir, no, but these are the ones who are waiting outside of the the, the van, you know, like, and fine, fine. Like that is, and you know, again. <laughs> they're gonna come with the shirts with the arrow that says, grab me here, right? They're gonna do all of that ridiculous stuff that was done during the first campaign. 